Life is actually really simple. Just do hard things. Do hard things. Man, let me see. I grew up here in this little town where I live at now. And if you're new here to my channel, I was in the military for a few years. I was in uh, Afghanistan. I was overseas, of course. I was in Germany. I was in uh, big cities like San Diego. I've been in the desert, so on and so on. And, uh, but before that, growing up here, it's as simple as that. Just do hard things. But I don't know, if you really think about it, I, I was a youngster. Yeah, we did hard things, like let's say like right now, there's this train track right here, right? There's that train track. And we used to actually chase that train right there. We used to chase it, climb it. Man, we used to risk our lives. So is that the same as doing hard things? Like, does that go on my resume? Can I add that to my resume? Like, hey, I'm a, I'm hardcore because I used to uh, climb tr uh, um, trees and climb trains. I don't think so. Choose which hard things you want to do. Something that you're going to get more benefit out of. But at the end of the day, do hard things. We're going to finish up our four mile run. Let's go into the gym. Come on. Yeah, so that, that's it, just do hard things. Once you stop doing hard things, you stop growing. You, start, you stop being sharp, if it makes sense. Just like a knife, right? If you stop sharpening it, you just use up what you have developed, you just use it, you don't really uh, do hard things anymore. You're gonna dull down, right? You're gonna dull down. So keep on sharpening yourself by doing hard things. Get out of your comfort zone. You know, it, it, I, and that's actually another way to say it. Get out of your comfort zone. Do hard things. Man, it's a simple message. Life is easy. It's just that we get too comfortable. Who the heck showed us how to be lazy? Man, that's the person I'm going to be looking after. Who made us lazy or our own selves, right? Our own mind. Our own mind made us lazy. All right, so first thing I like to do once I come in on a Tuesday, I switched up my schedule a little bit. You're gonna be seeing brand new videos right here with me and my other two sons. I have two 19 year old guys. They're, they're working out there. They're about to be actually certified personal trainers as well. So we're gonna be working out together on Saturdays. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, bring up bring out some vlogs for Saturday's workout with us together But I like to come in after my four mile run. I like to come in and bust out some chin-ups So let's see how many we can do Not bad, 15 repetitions just to start off the workout. So let me get into it. I'll come right back on the next clip. All right, so we got the incline bench press for sure. Always, always with the incline on Tuesdays, on Tuesdays. So my, my workout consists of a two week um, workout program where I do different stations or exercises. Sometimes free weight, sometimes body weight, and also the cardio, right? Cardio, core, strength training. I have all that in two weeks. So, and then I repeat it again. Um, that way, it's not by, it's not weekly. It's every two weeks. So I won't be doing this till two weeks from now. I won't be doing the incline bench. Check it out.
easy. Let's go into the third exercise. One of my favorite exercises for glutes, hamstrings, quads, stability muscle is the kettlebell swing, third exercise. Fifteen reps each, fifteen chin-ups, fifteen incline bench press, and fifteen kettlebell swings. Let me finish finish up my workout, and we're gonna be heading out. We're not done yet. All right, so here we go. Last round, three exercises. Let's get it done. There you have it right there. Awesome, awesome workout of the day. Hope I can motivate you a little bit. Stay motivated, stay dedicated. Keep on fighting for the body you want. Thank you for hitting the like button on these logs. Thank you for liking these videos here. I'm gonna make more because of you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.